Hi, I'm Daryl Canada. Once you have built a couple of putt-putt boats, builders often start wondering which boat is faster and which engine develops the most force. Speed is pretty easy to measure. Measure the distance traveled, measure the time it took to travel that distance, and calculate. Because most putt-putt engines rarely run evenly, my official test standard is 10 laps of my pool, or 300 feet, with the boat tethered to keep it on track. Measuring power, or more correctly measuring force, is more difficult. Here's the method I use. In a small test tank, I tether the running boat to a scale. This is a posted scale that was not too accurate, but it did work. Later I bought two gram scales, one 0 to 30 grams, the other 0 to 90 grams, or 1 ounce and 3 ounces. I also built an adjustable raft so I could test engines without a boat. Here is a close up of the 3 ounce scale. I put a card on the scale calibrated the same as the scale so it would show up when taking video. Here are some video clips of the boats running in the tank. Photographing it means I can be more accurate in measuring both force and hertz, which is the frequency of the pulses. It is easy to see the pulses and the variations in force. Watch the startup of this engine where it makes double the force it usually runs at after it is warmed up and stabilized. Its normal average force is at 150 millinewtons, or 15 grams, or just over one half ounce, on the scale. Because of its high power to weight ratio, this type engine has produced my best speed in boats. Next up is a video of my most powerful engine running in the test tank. As you can see, the force in putt-putt engines varies quite a bit. After a warm-up period that can take one half hour or more in larger engines, the engine will mostly run plus or minus about 10% of its average normal force. About 5 to 15% of the time it will run higher or lower than the average force. It can be difficult to determine the average force due to the variations, but playing the video back at two or three times normal speed will usually give a fairly clear picture. I have called this engine's average power 500 millinewtons. To measure hertz using video, I play it back one frame at a time and simply count the number of pulses per second. Another way is to record the sound and play it back on a program where you can see the waveform displayed with a timeline, or use an oscilloscope. You will need to divide by two as the engine makes a sound on both strokes. Accuracy is worth mentioning. For speed, accuracy depends on the correct measurement of time and distance, so it can be precise. For hertz, it is pretty much a matter of understanding the method you are using, being able to count, and knowing that the hertz can vary while the engine runs. For force, accuracy is difficult because it comes in pulses. My method is minimally affected by outside forces like friction, but the final answer is a subjective guess. Anything that minimizes the effect of pulsing on your readout improves accuracy, and there are ways to do that. 
Here is an example played at double speed where the pulses are barely visible. Unfortunately, this engine's force varies considerably, so average force is still an informed guess. What do you think? 150 millinewtons? I hope that this video helps you with your experiments. Here is a very fast slideshow of some of my boats. Thanks for watching and please visit my channel to see the other videos available.